The U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo is in China for this four-day visit. Uh, earlier today, she met with her Chinese counterpart, Wang Wentao, and Raimondo said that stable relations between U.S. and China are profoundly important, pointing out that these two countries share more than $700 billion in annual trade. Now, she also added that she would not compromise on matters related to U.S. national security. Now, as for China's position, this is what we heard from the Chinese Commerce Secretary, Wang Wentao, who said this, quote, I am ready to work with you together to foster a more favorable policy environment for stronger cooperation between our businesses to bolster bilateral trade and investment in a stable and predictable manner, unquote. Now, this visit, it comes at a time of deep concern about the world's top two economies. Now, on Friday, we heard from the U.S. Fed chief. Uh, he cautioned that inflation is still too high. Higher rates may be needed. Meanwhile, China faces a number of of pressing economic issues, including slumping exports, a ongoing property crisis, youth unemployment, with data that is so bad that the government recently suspended the release of it. Out Ramondo's trip to China, she's going to both Beijing and Shanghai. It follows a flurry of visits from several other U.S. officials as the country seeks to stabilize its relationship with China because tensions have flared over trade, over targeted sanctions, over access to technology like chips, over raids on U.S. consultancy firms. And China is welcoming this visit. In fact, last week, it praised the U.S. Commerce Department and its decision to lift export control measures on 27 Chinese companies, saying that it paves the way to normal trade. Back to you, Leila.